family, our connection with our friends, with our community, and our connections even with the earth and the planets and the animals. And to realize this is a great joy ride. This is, th there is no game that's more fun than becoming aware of who we are. And the first thing, though, is to break off these shackles that have been put on us. Just like when Neo woke up, he pulled those... Pulled those, the plug. He pulled the plug. Yeah. And friends, guess what? You too. You too. Right now, if you've got it, and we all have some plugs in us that we don't know about. And I'm not saying I pulled all the plugs because, you know, I do stuff that's stupid all the time. But if we just pull one plug today, and then if we talk to our friends about it, and you know what? The numbers of people, just at, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And for every Oklahoma City, for every Waco, for every TW Flight 8, 800, for every 9-11, for a, all of these, these situations that create fear, there is a reverse situation where more and more people are waking up. Right. Just think how much more you know today than you did 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. I yeah. look at what I, I'm aware of today, and even though I had so much stuff in my head 10 years ago, I think that I am happier and more joyful and, and more alive today. Because the first thing is to gather the objective information, and getting objective information right. is not easy. But then realizing that we have a choice. We don't have to go down. We don't, you know, friends, and, and, and this is, I'll, I'll be a little bit serious right now. If we, if our culture continues going down this road of cap, corporate fascism, and, 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 and this country right now, is corporate fascist. We're, we're, we're no longer under, uh, for me, we're under republic, but most of the people are controlled by the corporate fascists. Our leaders are chosen. And, and our leaders are chosen, and the glove wears a velvet glove. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of time before these son of a guns take the velvet glove off and hit down. Now, if, if that happens, and I don't want it to happen, and I think that we can stop this, but it's not going to be pleasant. And, you, and we've all seen all these sci-fi movies about the future where 99% of the people are in total poverty and controlled by the machines, la, 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 la. You got well, the enforcer class, you got the peasants, and then you got the, the yeah, kings up and top. And why do you yeah. think, why do you think that they're making all these movies? Well, because they, they see us as zombies. Exactly. They see us as the ones to be And they're programming yeah. all of this into our subconscious, not our conscious, and not even our subconscious, but into our unconsciousness. Mm -hmm. Because the four laws of the universe are this. The law of attraction, the law of conscious manifestation, the law of allowance, and the law of balance and harmony. But they know that if they, they focus deeply, deeply, deeply on putting this stuff into our reptilian brains, deep, 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 all these fear-based movies, mm -hmm. and... 60% of the movies that are out are incredibly fear-based. Now, a lot of them are pretty interesting, and I go see a, you know, it's not that I'm such a pure person that I don't go see, because a lot of these movies are interesting, but they're doing it for a reason. Oh, yeah. It's not just to make money, it's to program us. Now, that sounds pretty wild to a lot of people, but I believe it's true. But we got to realize that life is a challenge, and we got to meet it. I mean, nobody's going to come riding up on their white horse. Nobody from the planet Sirius is going to come down in their, in their flying saucer and say, oh, we're going to take care right. of everything. No, and, it's and, never, that's not going to happen. And you know what? I believe in UFOs, and I believe in people from Sirius. But it's not, you know, we as human beings, if we're going to evolve, we have to take personal responsibility. Wholeheartedly agree. Personal responsibility. And that starts with each of us, no matter how much money you've got, no matter what color your skin is, male or female, young or old, da la la la, whether you've got a junior high education or a triple PhD, and probably you're a lot smarter if you've got a junior high education. <laughs> yeah, you haven't been in conditioning. You haven't been you haven't been to conditioning school. Yeah. But you know what? is that more and more and more and more people every single day are waking up to this stuff. Mm -hmm. The new paradigm is happening because just as we're moving toward this corporate fascist takeover, which is already here, is that there's an equal and opposite reaction of people like you. I come down to the studio 
And there's all these people down there here new faces. who are wide awake, yeah. alive and awake mm -hmm. and aware. See, most people are asleep. And then the next thing is to become awake. Right. And then become aware and then become alive. Well, and it's like detoxing too. When you detox from the system, it's not pretty the whole time. <laughs> I mean, you it's like Neo when he unplugs himself, they flush him down the system. You, yeah. you are no longer in you know, you're no longer held up as, oh, you're you're, you're a not special a special. You're person, not a human you know. resource. Right, any right. Longer. They flush you down the system. It takes a lot that way then you have to realize like, well, what do I do now? Like, oh wow, there's different ways to live life. There's not just a nine to five job working for a giant corporation. Yes. There's, oh, well, I could work for myself. I could get together with like minded people and start something, start my own well, media we, crew. You do it? It is essential that we create our own reality. The second law is the law of conscious manifestation. And this is very, very real. We create what we think about. We create what we think about. And have you ever known, I mean, when you talk to somebody, you can t within five minutes, I can tell where somebody's coming from by listening to their language patterns. Mm -hmm. People who say, oh, I'm going to try and do this. Oh, I'm going to, you know, the, the people who are, uh, you know, I hate the Walmart crowd are a bunch of victims. And I am very, 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 very aware that victim mentality is a death mentality. And the Walmart mentality is a death reality. It's, it's you know, the people are overweight. They're, I mean, la, la, la. And, and God love them. I, you know, it's not that they're bad human beings. They're experiencing life in the way that they have to. But it's not for me. Right. I am not a part. I am not a human resource. I am not a part of this, this, this corporate, you know, Creation. I am not a part of this democratic, republican silliness that mm -hmm. goes on between the Bushes and the Clintons and, and Obama. And as 99% of you who are watching this, you know whether it's Bush or Clinton or Obama or whoever, they're all puppets. It doesn't matter. They're yeah. all puppets. And they're all relatively low-level puppets. Brother Obama, you yeah. know, I helped made a movie with... with with Alex called the Obama deception and then another one called the fall of the republic. Right. And this was before the election. Right. And we said Obama's going to do this and this and this and this. Well, in fact, he's done this and this and this and this. And we knew what was going to happen. And, you know, is the guy a good speaker? Yeah, I'd like to sit and talk. You know, it's just like Clinton, he's probably a pretty good guy to have a beer with. Right. You know, but they're all pre-programmed. They're all controlled. And friends, that's why InfoWars is so important. What you're doing right now, this is, even though a lot of people get on Alex's case and InfoWars case, they say, oh, it's just bad news, it's fear-based. Well, not really, because the first thing to do is to be awake to the, you know, being in, this human, being in this human body, the first thing is we got to take care, we got to survive, we got to live. Mm -hmm. And you know what? These son of a guns. They make it very hard just to get clean water, clean food. It's it's a task. And, and, and this you have is, to really know what and you're And this is for. just the start of it. They care not an iota right. about our happiness, our survivability, and they will, just like when they drop the bomb on here, all they would have had to have done was drop a bomb off of of out in the ocean so that the Chinese emperor could have seen we had the atomic bomb. Right. But instead, we blew away Hiroshima and then Nagasaki, totally defenseless, just like we firebombed. Fishing villages. Just, yeah, just like we firebombed Dresden. And not that just we did it, but, you know, the Germans did it to mm -hmm. other people and the Japanese did You know, we human beings, if we are given the wrong information, can rationalize the, the wipeout of huge, 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 huge numbers. And what's happened is because we are so detached from nature and from God, what we call God or the grand creator or whatever you want to call this, mm -hmm. about goodness and ethics, we can rationalize almost anything. And together with the fact that these people, all they're concerned about, they're true psychic vampires. All they want is power. They don't care whether there's eight billion or a hundred or fifty thousand people, as long as they're in control of this planet, 
And, you know, you can go back in history and look at every civilization, and every civilization has been built up, and then it creates and then it creates dictators or crazy people mm -hmm. who will wipe out their own it people. It's top heavy and, and, and it falls and in on it. Just itself. like they say, if you don't learn from history, you're bound to repeat it. And friends, it, if we repeat the pattern of history with the increase of technology, which is increasing exponentially, friends, we do not want to go down that, ro that road. We do not want that. You've... You've got a beautiful life. Alex has got beautiful children. I've got beautiful children. Most of the people listening here. But it's not just about the children or the grandchildren. It's about us. Mm -hmm. I like this life. Yeah. I like being on planet Earth. I like my. I love my friends. I like going to Barton Springs. I like going in, into the Rocky Mountains. I love going to the Himalayas. I love just e being in Kansas. Mm -hmm. I like being in body. And I like, you know, and I am willing to stand up for freedom. Freedom is so important. But free, with freedom comes something that's very important. You know what that is? Responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah. People don't like to have responsibility yeah, a lot of times. That's the big thing. Everybody says, give me, give me, give right. me. I want freedom, freedom, freedom. Well, but there's responsibility. And that's part of the programming aspect. That's, uh, you know, when you look at TV, what do they call it? They call it a program. Yes. It's not called a show. Very few people call it, I like to call this a show because we're showing you information. We're not trying to program you in a certain way. We're trying to deprogram, I think, a lot of people. Yeah, well, but programming is what they do. It's a program. It's got lines of instructions that are designed to get a desired effect. Exactly. And, and as I have said, I, I have probably done, I don't know how many TV and radio shows. And I'll say it just, don't believe a word I'm saying. Yeah, go find don't it Don't believe yourself. a word I'm saying. But check it out for yourself. Listen, use discernment. We all know, every single one of us knows in our heart, if we're quiet, we all know what the truth is. And, you know, it's like I know that there's things that I say that are not factually 100% correct. I believe them at the time I'm saying it, mm -hmm. but I know I make mistakes. And when I was doing my show, I said, if there's anything I'm saying just tell me, and we're not, it's not a debate. I just want to show and express with you so that each person can make a choice. And this time, right now, is the greatest time of choice ever in the history of mankind because it is, it is the metaphysics of this solar system are changing. And it's not just because of politics and economics and things like that is the because we as human beings are going from a consciousness of Newtonian physics, which is parts as parts and separation and of politics to quantum. And you know, the biggest way to understand quantum is everything is light and vibration. Just like at mm -hmm. the start of in Genesis, it says in the beginning was the word. Well, actually it says in the beginning was the vibration and the light and you know, it's 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 all vibration and words are vibration. Everything is yeah. vibration. This this table right here, even though it's very solid to the touch and it makes a sound, this is all made of light vibration and molecules. And if you change the vibration, suddenly from going to a wood table, it could become a plastic table. Or I, you know, I've changed the vibration and I could have a pink shirt on or what, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. But by being aware that everything is light and light attracts other light and realizing that our solar system, and this is not some theory, this is absolute proof, is that we're getting in the last 15 or 20 years, we're getting more and more and more electromagnetic frequency into our solar system, plus radiation and debris. But the, just like, uh, what was that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where all the buildings were falling down? Inception. Inception. Yeah. Well, it's all a dream. In that thing, mm -hmm. in their dreams, all the old institutions were falling down because the dream was, was changing. And because we're getting more electromagnetic frequency is that the vibration of the subatomic particles is changing. And so we have the choice, depending on how we use our consciousness, of how we use those changes. Now, this stuff sounds pretty wild at, at start, but I know you know this. Mm -hmm. 
And and we I have, felt it. Yeah, we you know? feel it. Yeah. And as you go down this rabbit hole, at first you talk about the Federal Reserve System and how corrupt it is, and then you learn that the Republicans and Democrats are liars, and then you learn that the media and the history and the 